Hello and welcome to Biocore. In this video, we will see SAM and MAM alignment formats. SAM basically stands for Sequence Alignment Map File Format. It contains aligned regions between uh, a particular next generation sequencing genome against an, another reference genome. We will discuss that in the next slides. SAM and BAM basically are same. BAM is the binary file of the SAM file and binary representation of the SAM file and it contains the data in binary form as compared to SAM which contains the data in human readable form. So in this video we will discuss four aspects of the SAM file format. Basic description will be discussed, the usage will be discussed, what it contains will be discussed and how does it actually look in the real life. So about SAM, uh, let me give you an introduction. SAM is basically a sequence alignment map file a bioinformatics file format that allows you to store next generation sequencing data of a particular biological entity that can involve single cell sequencing or whatever uh, that is aligned against a reference genome. So for uh, for an example, if you are working on a particular genome, let's suppose XYZ species and you have geno sequenced its genome, you get uh, many reads from the technology such as Illumina, PacBio, whatever you use. All those reads have to be Assign, have to be assembled into a genome. So to do that we have to align those reads against a reference genome or do a de novo genome, uh, genome assembly. So in case uh, SAM is only used when we are aligning it against a reference genome so we have to store that alignment within a particular file format. So SAM is used in that scenario. And uh, this alignment contains threads, quality scores, various other information such as technology you utilize and various other information to actually provide a contextual information of the alignment that is stored within the SAM file format. BAM on the other hand, binary alignment map is a binary equivalent and compressed form of SAM file which is basically used in different uh, file, different tools for different sort of genomics analysis. We will discuss that in the next slides. What are the practical uses? Practical uses include that it, it is allowed, it is used to store next generation sequence data. It contains sequence reads alignments and it, it is used in genomics analysis toolkit which contains many a plethora of tools for genomics analysis. Then it is also utilized for storing quality scores for the alignment and it, it supports both short and long reads up to 128 M MBP which basically means megabase pairs. So SAM, uh, SAM on one hand is used to store sequencing data from chip seq, RNA sequence analysis or other various sequencing technologies or methodologies and BAM is the conversion from a SAM file in a binary format or a compressed for file format so that it can be used in some tools such as Bowtie, Bowtie 2 and various other tools for analysis, for genomics analysis. So what is constitutions within SAM? As I said in this slide, looks are not everything so there are various alignments that are stored in a single file format of SAM such as clipped alignment, spliced alignment, multipart alignment and padded alignment. We will discuss each one of them now. Clipped alignments uh, in, in smith waterman algorithm if you have ever seen local alignment or if you ever seen smith waterman algorithm in action you will know that local alignment actually takes out the sequence. For example, if in smith waterman only this region would have been shown because this is the sub-region of the entire sequence that actually matches and only and the rest of the sequence will be uh, taken out or spliced out or clipped out. So only this region would have been shown. But in SAM alignment, all of the region of the reference sequ sequence, this is the reference genome and this is the aligned read of the genome that you have sequenced. Only this this part is not showing, the entire reference genome is being shown and then the read is also shown Okay, where it actually aligns. So this is the difference between Smith-Waterman uh, algorithm and clipped alignments within SAM file system. There is another type, spliced alignments. Spliced alignments contain when you are uh, utilizing the clone DNA to genome alignment, we uh, we may have to distinguish introns from exons and in this scenario, skip uh, skipping is utilized which basically means that this is the skipping. Only those regions are uh, put, put forward that are exonic or intronic in some cases 
and they are shown okay this is the region that is actually lines and i have skipped this part so next is multi part alignments so in this scenario one query can align to multiple multiple places on the entire reference genome uh, it can be with or without overlaps for example they can be overlapping or they cannot be overlapping at all so in that scenario this is known as multi part alignment and the final al alignment that is which is padded alignment will we will see how it looks in the next slide most uh, alignments most sequence aligners basically provide you the an inserted regions of the genome but they do not present how these in inserted genomes are actual present against the other aligned regions so in that scenario padded alignments are utilized basically they present the actual representation of the alignment and where it actually is present within the alignment as you can see uh, this sequence is present from over here and this sequence is present from over here so this means that this read 2 is actually padded over here and whereas read 3 is padded over here so this is this is what it actually looks like that a uh, padded alignment in, and as you can see in the following example ga over here ga is actually inserted reference as compared to the padded alignment so what actually basically it means what actually is stored within the sam file sam file we, uh, contains a tabular data and this tabular data is stored according to the field according to the type and the range and the basic information so queue name is basically the query template name and uh, whatever you are aligning against the